Hey y'all, uh, this is a follow up on the video I just made on uh, my custom installation of Ubuntu and a do build situation with uh, Windows 7. And I'm going to cover how to uh, reinstall Ubuntu without losing your files um, by using the method in the previous video of how I installed Ubuntu. So we notice here I have a different desktop background. Um, in documents, I made a just a document before reinstall. I put the time in there. And uh, Firefox, I changed the start page and I've added a couple of add ons, just one actually, add block. Okay, so obviously there's nothing wrong with this system, but say if something went horribly wrong. Uh, you can power off the machine and then uh, boot from uh, the Linux Live CD or USB, or in this case from the VirtualBox ISO. So uh, let's get on with that part then. Okay, so I went uh, straight for in to install Ubuntu. So I'll just press continue here, and it should uh, look for your hardware and basically your hard drive. In this case, it's two. So again, it's something else, okay, as I did. Please refer to the previous video if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll try to annotate that in the video. So you can just click on the link. So something else, press continue. And you can see here, uh, slash device SDB, I have extension for Ubuntu 13.04, as it shows you here. And... So this is root, this is home, and that's swap. And the bootloader, I put on the SDB without the one or anything after. And we're going to just click the first one, SDB1, and choose extension 4. And the mount point is this, and format, and say OK. Just press continue, it's a warning. And it's scanning disks, as you can see on the, on the done. Now, change. We're going to use this one. Extension 4 again. And home. But we're not going to format it. That's the trick, basically. So you press OK again. And swap, we can just leave as it is. Okay? So all we're doing is reinstalling Ubuntu 13.04 on device SDB1. We're leaving the home intact. So we press install now. And uh, just remember to put in your uh, same username and password that you, when you install the previous installation. Because uh, if you don't, then you'll have problems uh, trying to log into your account. So I'll be back when uh, this is ready to reboot. Okay, so installation is finished. So we press restart now. And uh, just like the last time, remember to hit the F12 when it reboots. And choose hard drive 2. Where it says AHCI controller. So you press just press 2 on your keyboard. And we see the Ubuntu grub menu. So you press the highlight the first one there. It's already highlighted, sorry. And uh, we'll log into uh, a reinstalled Ubuntu system. Now we're at the login screen. Um, we've lost our uh, VirtualBox guest editions and stuff because we reinstalled the system. So let's log in. Remember, uh, you have to use the same password you did when you installed it the first time before the uh, something went wrong. Obviously nothing. But you can see here, um, I've reinstalled this. And we retain the wallpaper. And we'll go to Documents. And there's the Before Install. And uh, let's name this... Uh, up to before, whoops, not Z, and af after. Edit, insert date, time, it was just the time. There we go. See the difference? Not very long, really, to redo this. So save, quit. Now let's open Firefox. And this is probably not uh, version 21 anymore, I would imagine. 
Yeah, it's version 20. So we have to reinstall the updates, but it did retain the start page I made, and I forgot to mention I changed the theme. And if you go to the, the add-ons, the add block is still there. So all your data basically is left intact, and all that's left is to uh, install the updates and your extras and stuff, and programs, of course, that you had. But um, that's a quick way uh, to get out of uh, a bad situation if something goes wrong. Who knows? It could be anything. And reinstalling Ubuntu using the method that I used in the previous video. So that should cover it. Any questions or comments, feel free to add them. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.